today we are going to learn about tds equation or entropy equation so this equation is very important uh, when you are studying thermodynamic relations so first of all <coughs> in order to uh, derive this entropy equation let entropy s be a function of t and v let us assume that s is a function of t and v so s is equal to f of t comma v okay so earlier we have uh, in my previous lecture uh, during maxwell's equation i had defined some relations mathematical relations so if z is a function of x and y then we can write dz is equal to do z by do x of y into dx plus do z of do y of x into dy so similarly here <coughs> entropy s is a function of t and v so i can rewrite this entrop uh, this function as uh, relative to this relation okay so with regard to that expression i can write if s is if s is equal to function of t and v then i can write ds is equal to do s by do t of v into dt plus do s of do s by do v of t into dv so now i am going to multiply this expression throughout by the term t okay so i am going to multiply this uh, term by t so t into ds is equal to t into do s by do t of v into dt plus t into do s by do v of t into dv so i am calling this expression as equation 1 okay so uh, we got this expression and now we are going to simplify this so what is do s by do v of t by maxwell's equation we can write do s by do v of t is equal to do p by do t of v from maxwell's maxwell's third equation okay so you can look into the uh, video lecture of maxwell's equations you, you will get this expression do s by do v of t is equal to do p by do t of v again what is t into do s by do t of v it is equal to cv that is specific heat at constant volume so i am calling this equation this equation as 2 and this equation as 3 so now i'm going to substitute equation 2 and equation 3 in equation 1 equation 2 comma 3 in equation 1 so we have do s by do v of t do s by do v of t here so i can substitute this as do p by do t of v and i have t into do s by do t of v and i can replace it with cv so equation 2 and 3 in 1 so what happens t ds is equal to cv into so uh, this is from equation 3 cv into dt okay plus t into do p by do t of v into dv so this uh, expression is known as the first tds equation so the this is the the above expression is the first tds sorry first tds equation okay similarly we have second tds equation and we are going to derive it so now let s be the function of let s be a function of t and p so while dealing with the first tds equation we assume that the s is a function of t and v now we are assuming that s is a function of t and p so s is a function of t and p s is equal to f of t comma p so what will be ds with that mathematical relation which we have studied ds is equal to do s by do t of p into dt plus do s by do p of t into dp correct now 
I'm again going to multiply this expression throughout by the term t. So multiplying by t, what uh, uh, what will be this expression after multiplying by t? It will be t into ds is equal to t into dou s by dou t of p into dt plus t into dou s by dou p of t into dp. Correct. And I am calling this expression as equation number four. But we know that uh, this do s by do p of t, this do s by do p of t is equal to minus do v by do t of p. So I got this relation from Maxwell fourth equation. Okay, you can just check. Into that video lecture of Maxwell equation. So from Maxwell fourth uh, Maxwell fourth equation, I can replace this dou s by dou p of t as minus dou v by dou t of p. Okay. Also, t into dou s by dou t of p. So this t into dou s by dou t of p will be C p. That is specific since it is a constant pressure. Uh, I can replace this term as cp that is specific heat at constant pressure so i am calling this expression as equation 5 and this expression as equation 6 okay so now what i am going to do is that i am going to substitute equation 5 comma 6 in equation 4 okay so 5 comma 6 in equation 4 so i can replace this t into dou s by dou t of p as cp And dou s by dou p of t as minus dou v by dou t of p. So how will uh, equation four change? So t d s will be equal to c p into d t plus t into minus dou v by dou t of p. Okay. So we have got a minus sign there into dp, right? So now I am just taking this negative sign outside. So it will become T D S is equal to C P into D T minus T into dou v by dou t of p into dp. Okay. So again I got an expression for T D S. So this is the second T D S equation. This is the second tedious equation, and thus we derive the first and second tedious equation. So that's all about the tedious equation or entropy equation.